Okay, Dan, here is a test of the accordion buttons. Here's everything all wired up. So what happens is, is when you press a key, the metal bar of the key is going to hit the screw and the nut there. So how does this magically work? Because all of these metal bars and the metal base underneath the accordion are all electronically connected. Just by default they were all made out of steel so they're all conductive. So I said, aha! A common ground or a common power. And I have right now this little alligator clip here tied to one of them. Um, so that is tied to the common ground. All those 25, 26 wires then come through the back and are plugged into an Arduino Mega. I did the Mega for two reasons. One, because we're trying to keep this as technically simple as possible. And the Mega has many more digital pins than the regular Uno, so I don't have to do a matrix or anything like that. I could just do it old school, have everyone connected, as you can see. Right now, I've got 1 to 10 and 11 to 20 connected. Uh, normally, the Mega would be kind of cost prohibitive, but if you buy a Chinese knockoff like this one is, it's under $10. So it's an opportunity cost. It's just cheaper for me to use digital pins and have an over powerful device than to spend all the time wiring up a keyboard matrix. Now, if I was doing more keys, I probably would do a matrix, but for this project, this version, I think it's fine. Um, I've got a sample program up here that's running on the Arduino right now, so and I've labeled the keys so I can see what's going on. So here's 13, and when I press 13, oh my goodness, magically, on, off, on, off, here is 12. 12, here's 6. Oh my goodness, it works. Now there's a little extra data when you press the keys. That's to be expected because uh, it's a mechanical key, so I'll add some debounce code. The debounce code will kind of take out the garbage so we don't send too many notes. But the good news is, is that I'm reading the keyboard through an Arduino. Now I just have to add the code that will do the debounce and send the MIDI commands and see if it actually can control a MIDI device. That's all for now.